Can you tell us a little bit about your parents and what happened to them? Yeah, well, I can. Um, when my father obviously got out of the fire and he went back in for my mother, so I'm conflicted, like, with him. Uh, that changes every now and again with me and him. We have the odd row, um, if I do say so. Um, yeah. Like, he's a total hero in my eyes for going back in. He's completely a total hero. But also, I somewhat blame him for not staying out from me. And that has to hurt me. Like, it hurts every day without him. But to know that he got outside and he just obviously wasn't thinking. And he just thought, Maureen, what are we going to do with Lisa? And he went back in and that was the last. He didn't come back out then. Could you imagine the dilemma he faced looking at that building and thinking, mm -hmm. you know, he only went in to come back out again? Yeah, I, I really commend him. I have to say, like, he's a total hero in my eyes, as I've yeah. said. But... I just, we do have a, you know, my own bit with him. Like, I'd be like, why did you not wait here for me? Yeah. Like, leaving me on my own. Um, obviously, he didn't think, you know, but he went back in and I just, I'm really proud of him Good. for doing that. Yeah. It's he like died can, for it, so. I can sense the conflicting thoughts there. Yeah. It's, it's hard for you, yeah, even after 40 years thinking, what the hell? Well, I do think about it every day. Do you? Um, when I go to bed every night, it's the last thing that I think about. I say, wherever you are, I mean, this is what you did, and I commend you, but I do. I yeah. miss them terrible, there's no doubt.